Corporal Rook. Father, thank you for seeing me. I, I never put much story in God, I'm sorry to say. But perhaps you can listen to me, even if he can't. I searched, Father, just, just now. I searched for the bullets, scrabbling in the mud for 20 minutes, but couldn't find them, sir. Do you know what happens to the bullets after? I want to know if I was the one. That's all, Father. This morning, the firing squad duty. I was one of the three boys. They volunteered for the firing squad duty, for the deserter. The one they say tried to climb out into no man's land. But well, we were just chosen at random, Father, so we went and there he was, standing against the trench wall, shivering in the rain, coated from head to foot in mud, but still standing at attention, like a good soldier. They handed us rifles and a single bullet each. Didn't know what to think, what to do. Wanted to kill one of your own for, for doing something you've thought of doing a hundred times a day. They told us one cartridge was blank. That way we could all tell ourselves, maybe, just maybe, my round was the blank one. His blood isn't on my hands. The lads had a name for it. The conscience round. Everything stopped. All the voices, the boots splashing through the mud, all faded to silence except for the rain that never seems to end. That drowns everything and turns it into a river of shit that'll bury us all in the end. It'll still be coming down long after this war's long done and we're all just a pile of wet bones. Every lad in the platoon had gathered, silent as ghosts, like they just materialised out of the mist and smoke like atoms come together to form people just long enough to witness what was to happen and then separate and disappear into the grey morning air. They all had their gas masks on, just staring, waiting like moles come out of the earth itself just waiting to see what happens when you can't shut it out anymore the, the madness of it all when you try and do something sensible and, and rational and run an example someone said the officers like to make an example now and then just to keep the rest of us in line. So now here I was, here we were, me and two lads whose names I, I don't even know, loading bullets into rifles, ordered to send a man to his death. I knew why they had their gas masks on now. If you're wearing a mask, it's it's like you're not there. You can watch a man be killed for being a coward and, and feel like a coward yourself, but as long as you're in the mask, it's not real. It's just another nightmare that will wake you up in years to come. Somehow it won't be your memory. It'll be the man in the masks all mixed up with the heat and smell of stale sweat and rubber. I think that's how we'll go on after, sir. Once all this is done with, 
We'll never tell anyone the things we saw and did. Not even ourselves. My fingers we were shaking. I dropped my bullet, the lad next to me did the same, and, and when we scrabbled in the dirt to pick them up, somehow he picked up mine, and, and I picked up his. And when I looked up again, I saw who the prisoner was, the deserter. The rain had washed the mud from his face and he was looking right at me. Tears in his eyes and he tried to grin. And he said, be brave, young'un. And they put the blindfold on him. And they ordered us to aim. And fire. And they had to scream at us in the end. We were petrified. But when one of us pulled the trigger, we all did. Eyes shut, teeth gritted so hard we could taste our own blood. We were marched away, numb. It hadn't happened. That's what we were telling ourselves. When I glanced back, Steam was rising from his body. Everything he once was. His hopes and dreams. Memories and regrets. All evaporated into the rain. Sir, please. Please, it wasn't him. It wasn't him, it was me. I couldn't take it anymore. The the, the noise, the, the, the gas, I just, it was too much. The waiting to die, I just, I wanted it over with, so I climbed out into the trench and he followed me and he pushed me back in. And that's when the officers came. They thought that he was the deserter. He was just looking out for me. That's what brothers do. When I enlisted, I was, I was too young, so I made up a name to get in. He only signed up to protect me, and now there he is, watching his little brother aim a rifle at him and telling me to be brave. Please, Father, please, I, I think I saw a tiny mark on my bullet. And uh, uh, Nick, if I can see the bullet, then I'd know, don't you see? Please, please, make them find the bullet and, and let me see. I just need to know. And then I'll be brave, sir, for my own firing squad. For my brother, sir. Dead in the mud because of me. Tell me I'm the coward who killed him. And then I'll be brave.